We welcome the addition of text in Appendix 3, which recognizes that cost-effectiveness analysis is a useful tool, but should not be used as the sole basis for decision-making. And also the addition of the columns setting out critical non-financial considerations that may affect the feasibility of interventions in some settings. However, there continues to be a strong focus on individual behavior change. It is important that recommendations in Appendix 3 be expanded to better address the underlying social determinants of health and health system strengthening. We wish to highlight the impact of drastic changes in food systems, particularly in low and middle income countries, due to the promotion of unhealthy foods by the food and beverage industries. We encourage the addition of policy recommendations and specific tools for the regulation of transnational corporate actors within the alcohol, food and beverage industries. We urge member states to call for the global coordinating mechanism to have a mandate to support this regulation. We also urge member states to include collaboration with the Human Rights Council on a binding agreement on transnational corporations as a strategy for curtailing health damaging corporate practice in the GCM 2018-2019 work plan. WHO remains insufficiently protected from undue influence and conflict of interest in the area of NCDs. The GCM lacks provisions to prevent influence from food, alcohol, beverage, tobacco, and pharmaceutical industries, while WHO earlier recognized the struggle of countries to implement recommended policies due to the influence of their lobbying. We would like to stress that the WHO can only be adequately protected if member states support the WHO with independent financing, such as adequate assessed contributions. Therefore, we hope that member states will view the current 3% increase in assessed contributions as only the first step in reinvesting in the WHO as the leading global public institution for health. 